amo weli hewile Justin Obwe wa Kenya Michael from Namisindwa district Hello Jean <laughs> together with the MTI, whereby the pastors have been picking the solar kits used for their outreach ministries. As today, we decided to do some interviews with them to hear about their experiences outside there. My name is Amkodi Waho Richard. First of all, I acknowledge Christ as my Lord and personal Savior, and I'm married to one wife who is called Rhoda Nasaka. And by God's grace, we have a gift of three children. The older son is called Isaac Wahou. The second is called Manuela Wahou. The third is also Ellison Wahou. So I thank God that we are all still alive and we are still breathing and serving him. Yeah. At my local church, I'm serving as a pastor where I come from, and it is located in a place called Bushiende. So the church is called Bushiende Christian Church. So that is where I'm serving my God. Yeah. How do I come to know about MTI? There is one of my elders who have been in Livingstone and he's called Ibutoto Elisa. He has been here since 2019. So he came to know about MTI through Masaba Stephen. And when he shared with him, he was encouraged. And he saw that when we also come and pray, we shall be good servants. So we came in 2021, we came and registered and we were enrolled and we also had that chance to come and train. So that is how I come to know about MTI. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, what influenced me to come and be trained is to train and be a good servant. Because where we come from at times, most of the preachers come, or most of the pastors come and say, I'm being led by the Spirit of God to be a pastor. But it is good to be trained so that you can be able to also stand and be firm to teach others. But if you are not trained, you cannot manage really to read the word, understand it, and have that explanation and good points to explain. So that is what really made me to come and train and be able and audible to do God's work. Yeah. Actually, what I have learned so far since we started uh, about being a good servant, that is a leadership. And what I learned uh, from our teacher, Opasa Nicholas Wambede, Christianity and culture, it really made me well because we have been mixing culture and Christianity. But when we, he taught us, how do these two contradict? So it was really encouraging and how to know how we can serve in our community, in our local places where we come from, culture and Christianity. So I really learned that. And a life of Christ too, by Levi Wafla. It uh, was really amazing how Christ started his work while he was here on earth. So that is what I was really encouraged. And the word of a seed by 
my server Stephen, it was really encouraging how the word is powerful. So as me, I was really encouraged and touched. The word is powerful. Yeah. Yeah. How do I see it helping me? We have been doing things in ignorance. But now, it has shaped me to differentiate the manners of culture, to know how Christ moved or how Christ did his work while he was here on earth, to know how God's word is powerful into us and to others. So that is how I have been sharpened and the way to go. Yeah. Now the training. Yeah. There's some challenges. Yeah. Okay. There are challenges. The challenges that we face or I face, where I come from, it is for. Because we are used to sleep in our good houses or in our good beds, we are warm. But the challenges we face here, we are many, this one is doing this, this one is doing this. <laughs> so you end up maybe by sleeping late. And another thing is that while we are here, at times there are many things that goes wrong that we miss in our homes. Like, for example, right now I'm facing a challenge. My child is sick. I have to be there to look money for paying bills. But right now I'm not there. But I'm here. So it is also a challenge. Even one day they called me, the HM called me from school. He has taken my son at home. He was sick. I had to run back and come back for the love of the word here. So those are the challenges we are going through, but we have to face them. Disease are normal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Even if you face some challenges, yeah. some challenges, but also there are also lessons that we teach throughout the course of the training. Right. Okay. Yeah. So even if I face them, it's true that there is something that I gain through this training, because it strengthens us. That in our ways, on our ways, there are challenges that we are to face. But how do you stand as a leader, as a pastor? So they strengthen us. Actually, these challenges, when if you go through it, there is a lesson that you learn through them. Yeah. I am. I'm excited because what I'm excited is all, me also to have that <laughs> that cap on me or saying gown, move around while I'm rejoicing for the step ahead or for what I have gained through that. So I'm happy and excited to hear that I'm going also to graduate. Thank yeah. you for being happy and excited about your profession. But what plans do you have forward after graduation? Actually, the plans I have forward after graduation is to put what I have learned into practice and to do it. What I have learned to do it. Two, to impact others who have not been here. So, I really feel that, that it is good to share what I have learned from here, to share it with others. So that is the plan I have. And two, not to stop in BESC, to continue in advance also, to continue being impacted. Yeah. Okay. MCI and GNCI mm -hmm. are almost in the same location. Yeah. How do I come to know about GNPI? While I was in a class one day, 
a friend come in with a kit hand carrying. Then I asked him, what is this? He shared with me about it. And I asked, how does it work? He puts on, he switches on. Then I saw what is on the solar kit. I was encouraged. And he explained where GNPI is located. And I asked him, can you take me there and you also introduce me there? He said, it's okay. So through that friend, we came and by name is called Otheno Kenneth. And he brought me here. And that is how I come to know GNPI. Yeah, through my friend called Otheno Kenneth. Yeah. Yeah, I have ever used it because I was given chance also to get one. Yeah. Actually, after my graduation, I hope to use it because it has been doing a great work in our community there. Wherever we go, and when you put on, people really see and are encouraged to see because in the certain places we go, there are people who have never seen like a movie of Joseph. They have never. But when they watch Christ's passion of Christ, when they watch, they are encouraged and others give life, give their life to Christ. So I feel it is good to come again and again and again. Yeah. It was helpful because I see people, I see a friend giving his life to Christ. After watching, he, was, he watched this movie of Jesus Christ. When he watched to the end, he saw how Christ died for us. He saw how Christ died for him. The way he was beaten, the way he was humiliated because of him. So he gave his life to Christ. So it was helpful. Yeah. Any comments for GNPI? What, uh, what can you say to GNPI? My comment to GNPI is that at times we wait so long. Gadgets are few. You come, you apply, you wait for a long time. So my comment is to, by God's grace, to have more solar kits so that when you apply, you are given chance in time. Two, we move different places, but other places are far, but as you know, being a servant, you have to reach. You have to struggle and you reach there. So my comment is that during rain season at times, it is hard to reach those areas. So it's my, my prayer that if God provides and he's our provider, GNBI, to extend offices to far places so that when you want a gadget, you get it in a near place and to work in time. Yeah, that is my comment, what I can say. And two, when we come, I don't know, but <laughs> it is moving far, going this way, going this way, sharing. At times, people want to give testimony. So my comment is that when they have time, you reach us to take that testimony because when someone gives his or her life to Christ, it is good to give testimony. Thank you. Mm -hmm.